Taduli Lake is the only community of the eastern branch of Dene people in Canada. They call themselves Sayisi Dene. For hundreds of years, the Sayisi Dene had roamed through northern Manitoba, following caribou herds. In the 20th century, they settled at Little Duck Lake, where they lived by hunting, trapping, and trading pelts. But in 1948, the fur market collapsed. The federal government thought the Dene were killing too many caribou. In the 50s, the Department of Indian Affairs forcibly relocated the band to Churchill. The move proved disastrous. Caribou hunters were made slum dwellers. More than 100 people died, alcohol-related deaths, in Churchill's Camp 10 and the Dene village. They died in fires, in violence, and in accidents. We're destroyed, I suppose, and put it that way. We're sort of stripped of their pride and culture, their traditional lifestyle. We became, uh, I guess, nothing. Uh, we were considered the more slum in Manitoba at that point. The government came along, took them away from their homeland, and dumped into the Churchill, and no directions, no counseling, no nothing, just left the people. Even the government admitted the relocation had been a mistake. After a brief experiment around North Knife Lake, the Sayusi Dene people settled here at Taduli Lake. They left behind a nightmare, the nightmare of the Dene village slum ghetto in Churchill. Settling here in 1973 was this band's last attempt to return to its traditional way of life, hunting and trapping in the northern bush. Bush life is free of alcohol. That means Isaac Tong, the only police constable here, has time to spare. There's hardly any trouble here. And uh, there's really nothing much to do around here because there's hardly any fighting, things like that. Eh? So uh, when the police come in from uh, Lynn Lake or regularly or uh, visit it, I just give them a hand and I haul water for the uh, old people, the, one that, the ones that can uh, get water for themselves, things like that. Our children are not getting education to compete with the outside world. And on the other hand, they're not learning the, the skill of the bush life. It's those people that perish while in church, I guess they would, if they were alive today, I suppose they would have, uh, they would sort of act like teachers, teaching the young people how to live in the land and so, so on. But uh, because of that, most of the good men who were good hunters and trappers, uh, most of them are gone, I suppose. There's only maybe just a few of them. So what's happening here is that uh, the young people that we have here, I think, uh, are caught in the middle. You've got 10 fingers, and two more, 10, 11, 12, okay? So 12. So that's not right, okay? The Taduli Lake School goes from kindergarten to grade 5. For grade 6, children have to go away to Thompson or to Winnipeg. The dilemma is that I'm teaching children to go out of this community who will never come back. Where would you like to get a job when you find you can get a job? Thompson, maybe Winnipeg. I don't see any reason why we have to send our kids to go to school, high school. I think we should have our own high school, eh? Where we don't have to send our children away. It does get tiring when you're sitting year after year after year and waiting for the government to do something and nothing gets done, eh? The caribou hunt is still important to the Saisi Dene. They use the hide for clothes, and they dry the meat. But hunting does not provide a livelihood. This is a welfare community. There has to be some kind of a compensation to the people of Tidu Lake, to my people, for the damage that they did, and which is affecting our lives here, uh, the lives of the young people now. Tadouli is, is, is a nice place to be in a lot of ways. Eh? It's quiet, there's no drinking, there's no problems with people fighting, and uh, it's peaceful. And uh, there's things here that we are doing that we would have never did in Churchill, the hunting and the trapping and the handicraft and the soapstone, the wood carving. 
all the artists that we have here, none of that we had in Churchill. Eh? We might have had people that were very talented in Churchill, but uh, we didn't recognize it because of the drinking, too much drinking being involved. And that, that, that's nice to see. It's nice to know that you have people that are talented.